Just like we have an intramolecular, although we have an intramolecular place. Yes or no? When would you like a test? You don't want to hold this on this thing, okay? Hey, Karen, what's up? When do you want to test? Okay, good for you. What did you say? I take pride in my notes. Here's an ester, yes? And I am going to treat this with a base. And the base will be that. What is this doing on the first step? It's attacking. No, it's not attacking. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's going to take an alpha proton. The alpha, alpha proton is extracting. It is a nucleophile, but in that case, it does not act like a nucleophile. Yes? Oh. If it acted like a nucleophile, it will attack the carbonyl. Yes? Right. And if it attacks the carbonyl, it will undergo esterification, but it's the same thing. So it's, even if it attacks the carbonyl, you don't get what you want. It is going to act like a what? Nucleophile and bases are the same type, yes? So what that is going to do is it's going to pull a proton off from okay. here, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And this negatively charged here is going to attack the other carbonyl you see here. It's going to attack that carbonyl and that will be the what? Mm -hmm. The leaving group, yes? So that is an intramolecular cyclization. Nova then. Oh, she's a sponsor? It's good. Uh, intramolecular place and has a name and the name is... I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm afraid of pronouncing it. I may pronounce it wrong. It's Dykeman? No, it's not Dykeman. <laughs> Dykeman? How would you pronounce this, uh, Pitbull? Dickman. The E is silent. Dickman? Dickman. <laughs> oh, the D is silent. I don't know. I, we're not pronouncing it, okay? Diamond? I don't know. So write the product. Did you write it already, Maria? You did? How do you pronounce that word? Somebody needs to Google it. So how, how many carbon member or how many members does this ring have? So the ring will be formed from this alpha proton and from this alpha proton. It doesn't matter which one you choose, yes? But let's say we choose this one. This would be one, two, three, four, and five. This is a five member ring, yes? So I draw a five member ring. Yes or no? Yes. So, which carbon is going to be this carbon? Carbon one? No, I don't know where you want me to put it. Like this? Right here. Is that good? No. That's not good? No. Why not? No, but that's one Here's this carbon, and on that carbon, somewhere else, 
is this. Yes or no? So this is the alpha carbon, and where is the, what does this produce? A carbonyl on the other side, like a ketone, yes? Where is it going to be? Four carbons in there. Here? No, no, no. Another metal? What do you mean metal? You keep saying metal. Where is it? Here? Carbon five? We didn't label these carbons, so I don't know what you mean by carbon five. Carbon five is where four carbons away. This here is carbon one? No. This one? Yeah. It's carbon alpha, maybe. Okay? And the other one is going to be where? On the beta part. This is beta and this is beta. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So I can either put the carbonyl here or I can put it down here. This is one, two, three, yes? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. I have a question for you. Why is there a need for H plus here? To pronate what? Deprotonate? No, protonate. Protonate, protonate what at the end? Um, the but, um, after the last alpha deprotonate. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's right. There is an alpha deprotonation that occurs with the base. Okay. And then after that, the same the base, base yeah. deprotonates that alpha position again. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you need to protonate that. Got it. Okay. So LDA is another base. So what do you get?
those you want us to see, like where they came from? this one, yes? LDA, and what is this? Ester, yes? yes. Mm -hmm. That's how you should think about this. Don't think, oh, because whenever you're doing it in the, during the final exam, how are you going to know? You're going to have a base, and this is an ester with alpha protons. How many alpha protons does it have? It has two of them, yes? Two alpha protons. And what this is going to do is this reaction with a nester and this base is going to be called clasin, yes? So what do we have here? Can I do this? Redraw the same molecule, yes? Yeah. Yeah. And then put the attachment where? On the alpha. And I'm going to put it on the alpha carbon. Mm -hmm. The alpha carbon is going to make a bond to the carbon that has what from the other molecule? that has the carbonyl, yes? There is a carbonyl here. It is going to remain a carbonyl. And what else are you going to have? Chain. Like this? No. No, that's not okay. That left. What we have is the rest of it, which is CH2, CH3. You agree? This is alpha carbon. This is one, two, three. This is a beta. How about this one? What do I do? You can redraw the same molecule. And to the alpha, I'm going to make a bond. This bond here at the end, what is it going to have? Carbonyl. Carbonyl. There it is. And this carbonyl had the ester before, now it's gone. Mm -hmm. And it's going to have the rest of it, which is a CH2 and a phenyl. Guys, yes or no? No. Yeah. Is that that difficult? No. I mean, it doesn't seem that difficult to me. Question here is, oh, we still have another one to do. Did you do this one, Maria? Let me see. Don't lie to me, I'm not your <laughs> Lie to me, it's all you want, but not to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't stop myself, I wish I could. <laughs> So, what do we do, guys? We redraw the same it. molecule, yes? Yeah. But if I don't give you this multiple choice on the test, you have to understand the drawings, yes? Yeah. So, I don't know, what, what would you like on the test? Multiple choice or not multiple choice? Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. No multiple choice. Multiple choice. Not multiple choice? Yes. Okay, no multiple choice. Yes. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Instead of everyone screaming at the same time. Can we vote? Yes. yes. That was a vote. Yeah. That was notable. That was everyone screaming at the same time. Yeah, and I counted the screens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here is alpha carbon. To this alpha carbon, I am going to draw a bond that is going to have a carbonyl on it. Yep. Yes or no? Yep. This carbonyl is not going to have the ester side. It's going to have whatever is there. Yeah. CH2 and then the chicken leg, yes? Uh-huh. <laughs> it doesn't matter which side you throw, right? What do you mean which side? I threw the chicken leg on the other side. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And that is exactly why you shouldn't have multiple choice. If you're going to get something like that, you're not going to be able to read it. Very good. But, but if, you, if you draw it, then like it's right either way. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, but something got into her today. I don't know what it is. Every 28 days, I hear it happen. <laughs> okay, guys, where did that come from? So you can't say it's the same thing over here. It's not the same thing over here. Did you start with the phenom? I don't know. You tell me where I started from. All I want is a place and reactance, yes? I don't want you to begin this from a benzene ring, okay? Benzene ring? Why are you talking? Just write it on the paper. Benzene ring. Benzene ring. Okay, let's do one, okay? Where do I cut this thing? Can I cut it here? I can't cut it here, yes? I have to cut it between what and what? I got it between the alpha to what? Carbonyl. The alpha to this carbonyl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's the ester. You find the alpha carbon to this ester first. Here's the alpha carbon to the ester. It happens to be alpha to the carbonyl as well, yes? Mm -hmm. And I am going to cut it between the alpha carbon to the ester and the carbonyl. I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to cut bond alpha. I don't know. You can call this beta. It's not beta. Alpha beta. Whatever. If I cut it there. Now this is, we want the clays as products, yes? Not an aldehyde. This is, this is an ester. I am going to make that ester the same thing as this ester. It doesn't have to be the same. But I am going to make it that ester. What else do I have? I am going to draw this other ester in exactly the same way that is drawing there. Yes or no? So here's one ester. Here's the other ester. But how did I make it? Tell me, what did I add? Add uh, a base and a proton. Add a base to this. There is two alpha protons from here. Yeah. Are there any alpha protons here? No. Nope. But if there were alpha protons here, what would I do? I can't add both of them and the base together, yes? I would have to make it first and then add the other one. Yes or no? In a later step. So, where do I cut this one? The alpha to the uh, so ester, to carbonyl. Ester. So it's the same spot. Right? Okay, I am going to cut it. Here is alpha, and here is the carbonyl. I am going to cut it in between the alpha and the carbonyl. You are going to redraw the little structure. And you're going to put an ester there. And you're going to redraw the other structure with the other ester. Now I want you to start with one of these and get to that. Okay? So, I don't know. Do the reaction. Show me how you get to the product. Now you have the starting materials. Tell me how you get to the product.
Okay, so which one did I start with? This one or this one? The one on the right. The one on the right? Let's start with this one? Yeah. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to add a base in the first step. LDA. In the second step, I'm going to add the other ester. And in the third step, H3O plus. Very good. And I'm going to get that over there. Yes or no? Where did this come from? Is this a confusing one? Where do I cut it? Here's an ester, yes? Is this an ester? Is this an ester? Where do I cut it? Here? No. Where do I cut it? Here? It's alpha. Right here. Right here. Right here. I'm going to cut it between the alpha carbon and the carbonyl. Gouch, is that clear? Ask a question. Go ahead. You don't have a question? Not yet. So, I'm redrawing the same thing, yes? But instead of drawing it attached to the alpha carbon, I'm going to write what here? Ester. Okay. The rest of the stuff, I am redrawing it the way that it shows there. It might not look like that on the test, yes? But you have to understand what this is. What cum mean? What does that mean? Cum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mean you're trying to pronounce this? <laughs> what does that mean? What does it mean? Cone. How do you pronounce it? Cone. Cone? What is it? Cumi? Cone. Cone? Okay, it means a carbon with two oxygen and a methyl group. So this is that, yes? <laughs> That's what that is. Okay. Okay, and the last one. How do I make this one down here? I cut this bond here. I cut the bond between the alpha and the carbonyl. And I am just going to make that an ester. And... Yes or no? What is this called? Not the name. I don't want the name. Right? Tell me what type of compound is that? Acetone? Yeah, well, yeah, it is an ester. Did I, did I say it before? Maybe I didn't say it. That is a lactone. You ever heard of it? Lactone. Did no. you say that? I think you said that. You mentioned it, but I don't think you showed it. I don't know. did show it. Whatever, okay. It's fine. <laughs>
Hey guys, what about this one? First of all, tell me what type of reaction is that? Intramolecular. Intramolecular cyclization, yes. Intramolecular clase. It is a reaction of an ester with LDA. There's two esters within the same molecule. So intramolecular. So a proton is going to get pulled off from the alpha position here, yes? So a bond is going to be made. It's going to look weird, yes? A bond is going to be made between this carbon here and what else? Another carbon? This one? No, on top of it. And that one, yes? A bond is going to be made between these two. How many member ring is that? Seven. Seven member ring. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can draw that. This? Yes. Yeah. Seven, eight, six, four, seven. It's tough. We're going to have to join Mr. Tess, yeah? What happened? So you just drew three. He just said to you you had a job. Yeah. I don't prepare for this, okay? I go through the same things you are going through. I have to draw it and see if I did it right. And this is a one, two carbons. One and two carbons. What's on this carbon here? Carbon. How does that look so far? Mm -hmm. I'm going to... How many bonds is that so far? Let's say we start here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I gotta draw another two bonds here. Not looking pretty, huh? Let's see. Is that good? No. You did the same thing. I did the same thing. Why did you do it? You already did it? I, want, I, I am interested in seeing La Vista's drawings. You probably gave up. You gave up, La Vista? No way. It's in 3D. Like that? Yay. Is that seven? You sure? Well, it's like a big ball. That's eight. That's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Are you guys like You had a right for that. You had a right for that. All right. Well, let's fix it then. Professor, you're so easy to drink. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, if it's multiple choice, it's already drawn pretty for you. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty ugly. Yeah, that's okay. What did you say? I told him that's a security yeah. <laughs> Where do I put the next group? On the seven. Uh, seven. On the seven? Yes. You mean this way seven? Yeah. Or that way on the second? I don't know why you go the other way. Is that it? Yeah. Can I draw it here? Possible. It's impossible for you to draw it here, okay? Why? Yes. Six. <laughs> because it's beta. No, that's not beta, but you don't draw wherever you want, yes? I mean this is how many carbons away from the ring. This is alpha and has another carbon. This is alpha and has another carbon. The inner link will never form there. And this one has a carbon next to the ring, which is that carbon, and then this carbon, which is that carbon, and then comes the carbon E. You like the seven member ring? No. Well, let's hope that uh, we don't do seven member rings on the test.
can I put the ester in the place of the carbonyl and the carbonyl in the place of the ester? You mean like put the ester here? Uh-huh. No. Why? Because the ester is not on this carbon. What do you mean why? The ester is the ester is one, two, three, four bonds. I mean not four bonds on the fourth carbon from this ring. One, two, one, two, three. And you have one on the top One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, you mean to say, can I do this? You switch it around. Yeah, yes. you can. Yeah. 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 That is what you mean? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, this is the other choice, yes? Is that the other choice? Yes or no? Yeah. It is the other choice in which this alpha carbon then attacks this one. So one, two, and the third. One, two, and then this would be on. That's all. That's wrong. Yeah, move it up. Thank you. Yeah, move it up one, right? Yeah, move it up one. Move it up one, and then move it up one. No, I don't know. That's the structure you asked me about, yes? Yes. That structure doesn't seem correct to me. No. Okay, so if we move it up, one, and then the other one would be three away. Yeah, we can one less three. would be three away as opposed to two. So just move it up. Guys, okay, next problem. <laughs> I don't like this at all. This is once again, what type of cyclization is this? What's the name? Intramolecular cyclization. Yeah, but intra intramolecular cyclization. Yes. Yeah. Dickman. I can. <laughs> okay. So, where or how many member ring is this? Six. Six. I have to find the alpha proton, either this one or this one. Which one do you want to do? Okay. I'm going to start here. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six member ring. I'm going to draw a six member ring. We can draw that one, except La Vista here. Well, that's a problem with spatial arrangement. <laughs> I do too, okay, don't worry. So, this is the alpha card. Which do you want to do in there as the alpha card? You want to do this one here, alpha carbon? Yeah. Okay. So that's the alpha carbon. It has that to it. I'm going to put a ketone somewhere or another carbonyl in what position? One, two, three, yes? I'm going to place it between alpha and beta. Here? This is alpha, this is beta. So one, two, three. So I can put it there, why not? Why are you doing it three? Why are you saying three alpha? It's three three carbons away. I mean three carbons. One carbon E, one, two, three. If I put it up here, it's still the same thing, yes? yes? But you have to determine where it goes. Not that, oh, yeah, I put the carbonyl here and the carbonyl there. Okay. I don't know what that was there. <laughs> but here is the ester, and here is carbon alpha, and here's another carbon alpha. I can put it either here or there. 
regardless of where I put it, where do these two lines go? And it is on, if I start on this ester, it will be one, two, three, four away, yes? I start on this ester, one, two, three, and four. Let's see if that is correct. I don't know. Is it correct? Uh, it will be how many carbons away from the ketone? Including the ketone. One, two, three, and on the fourth. One, two, three. So you got to go on the top one. You go to the back. Is that what you guys drew? No, I didn't draw that. I want to see your drawing. I drew that one on top of the main eyeglass. So, yeah, I drew it right here? there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, how many carbons? What carbon is it? Carbonyl? What is it going to produce? Let's say this is the base we, base we use. What is it going to produce? Enolate. And then if I add an alkyl halide, this negatively charged species here, or the enolate, is going to attack what? The alkyl halide. What type of reaction would that be? Substitution. Uh, like, is it a nucleophilic substitution? SN1, SN2, SN3? SN2. <laughs> okay. This will be an SN2 reaction, yes? SN2 reaction. So the alkyl halides that we are going to use in general are going to be what type of alkyl halides? Primary, primary alkyl halides, yes? Yeah, everything but fluorine, but primary alkyl halides, yes? That's what we like to use in general. It doesn't have to be for that, but what is this is going to form is this. Yes or no? Now what happens if I have this? Now if I have this, an alpha proton can now be pulled off from here, mm -hmm. from this carbon. Yep. An alpha proton can be pulled off from here. If one gets pulled off from this side, this is what you are going to form. Yes or no? You forgot to draw that, didn't you? And if one gets pulled off from this side, you are going to form is this one. Which one is most difficult? You don't ask questions. <laughs> so which one is more stable? <laughs> more substituted is more stable. This one is more stable, yes? And this one forms too. They form under different conditions, okay? Because this is more stable. This is called thermodynamic control. And this product is from kinetic control. And kinetic means it is fast. Thermodynamic means it is more stable. Okay? So 
the thermodynamic product is the one that is more stable. The kinetic product is the one that is faster. faster. Now, thermodynamic product occurs at higher temperatures. So, we're going to say thermodynamic product, but this occurs at a higher temperature. This occurs at a lower temperature. Low temperature is minus 78 degrees Celsius in general. The reaction can be around an acetone and carbon dioxide. We don't need to know. Yes? Now, which type of base can we use for this? Now, if I wanted to pull this proton from here better than this proton from here, what type of base would I use? A base that interferes with this, yes? Or a hindered base, yes or no? If I use a hindered base, it's going to attack the side that is less hindered. So I am going to use here a hindered base. Their base is ADL. ADL no. What I say? LTA. ADL. Whatever, okay. <laughs> A hinder base is going to attack what side? The less substituted. Going to attack the less hindered. Or less. substituted side. What else? So if on the test you see minus 78 degrees Celsius and LDA, most of the time what do I want from that? Kinetic control. What that means is that you are going to pull the proton off from the side that has more hydrogens. Yes? More hydrogens. This is thermodynamic control. This is at a higher temperature. I don't know. Higher temperature means higher. Yes? It could be 25. It could be a little heat. Most of the time, it's no heat. It could be zero. Is zero higher temperature than minus 78? Yes. yes. What type of base am I going to use here? <laughs> what type of base am I going to use? I'm not going to use a hindered base, yes? Because I want the attack on a side that is hindered. I cannot use a hindered base, OK? So, uh, let's not say attack, yes? Let's say attack. Thank you. 
What are these conditions for? LDA and minus 78. <laughs> that means is a proton is going to be pulled off from what side? From this side, yeah. because this is less, less hindered. hindered. Yes? Yeah. And what you are going to get is? Double bond on the left side. Is the R group going to be here? No. Uh -uh. The R group is going to be here. Mm -hmm. Now, this base is what type of base? This is not hindered. No. How not hindered is that? I mean, this is, this is a hydride. as small as possible, yeah, right? small as possible. It's just a hydride. Not hindered at all. And under higher temperatures, if I don't put the temperature, you still have to know that this is hindered. So what side does it prefer? The it prefers hindered. this side, even yeah. with no temperature. And if I use this base, even if I don't give you the temperature, which side is it going to attack in general? The more hinder. It's going to attack yeah. that. Okay. So what type of product is this? Thermodynamic product or kinetic product? Thermo. Thermodynamic product because it's on the side that is more the more hindered. The more substituted. Would you add another um, carbon chain though because of CH2, CH2? Oh, yeah. Oh, here was a CH3, okay? And here is CH2, CH3. I'm going to change this. If you wrote this before, erase it and write a new one. Okay, so first one. What am I going to get? Three, 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 
kinetic or thermodynamic? Kinetic. kinetic. Meaning that it's going to go to the carbon with more no, hydrogen, yes? yes? Less substitution. Uh -huh. Which one is it? This is a CH3, yes? Uh -huh. Less substitutions. So it is going to alkylate it here. CH2? CH3. Oh, wait, what? You thought it was on the other side of the room? You thought it was on the other side. Is that what you drew? No. No, I didn't. What did you draw? I draw it on the other side. On, the other side. on what side? You put it here? No. Here? No. One side. Here? No. No. Here? No. No. here. No. Here. No. To the left of that. To the left is here. <laughs> to the left of what, guys? To the left. This here? No. Uh uh. What other ring? You put it here? Nah. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm going to say, you tell me when you put it. Where did you? Here? Uh -huh. Here? Yes. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Some of you put it here, some of you put it here. Yeah. No, no, no. 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 Outstanding. Okay. This is LDA hindered base, yes? This base is like this. You ever try cleaning your nose with a boxing glove? <laughs> try it. Put a boxing glove on, try cleaning your nose, see how that works. Okay. You can't do it here, yes? Because if the base is this big, it can't attack okay. it. Yeah, right, right. right. So it is going to attack the side that doesn't that has less groups on it. And here, this is what type of carbon is this? Primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Uh, it's tertiary. Oh, it's no ring. No benzene ring here. This cyclohexane, yes? Yes. This carbon here has one, one bond, two, two bond, three. three bonds, okay? This is tertiary. Tertiary. This is what? Primary. 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 It's three hydrogens, okay? Yeah. It's going to prefer to attack this side. So it's going to attack this side, and then that negatively charged is going to attack that and put a methyl group at the end of it. My bad. Yes? If you were going to put anything anywhere else, it would have to be on the alpha carbon. It would have to be here. Yes, never here. Never here. Okay. Right. Buy boxing gloves, okay? <laughs> Okay, how about this one? I'm going to redraw the same molecule, okay? And then you are going to tell me, I'm going to place the methyl group or the ethyl group or the whatever group in the side and you'll tell me if it's okay. Yes? Only, yes? Mm -hmm. I have to either put it here uh -huh. or there. Or here. Yeah. And it goes on the bomb can never go there, right? No. It can never go here. If it's multiple choice, maybe that's a question on the test. An answer on the test. So, um, I'm going to put it here. No. 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 No, sir. Why not? What do you mean? No, no. That's, that's alpha. You need a hydride, so it has to go on the more hindered okay. side. Okay. This is not a hindered base. Right. And it's at a higher temperature, so thermodynamically more stable. When the double bond is more substituted, yes? So the double bond that is going to form is here. Alkylation will be here. Right. Okay? So not this one. Because this is what type of product? This is kinetic. Kinetic. Yeah. Yes? So I'm going to put... CH2, yes, uh -huh. the bond, the BR is gone. Right. BR is not a carbon. Right. It has a CH2, and a ring. CH2 attached to this five-member ring. Right. 
Yes or no? Yes, sir. You need to draw this before I draw. Pitbull, is that what you got? Yes. I know. At the beginning, you can get it wrong, yes? We're almost done with this business here. That's a question on the test, wasn't it? That I got yeah. wrong. You got it wrong? Yes, yeah. You put that on the quiz, too. I thought it was going to be an easy question, you know, because I put it on the quiz. And I put it on the test, and some of you wrote oh, oh, on it. All kinds of things. So, I was expecting to be going to say it's Yeah, okay. So, if this is an OH, it's called malonic acid, yes? Yeah. If these are esters. It's called malonic ester, yes? Or diethylmalonate. Okay? Now, this can be treated with a base. So, I'm going to give you a reaction, and you're going to write the product down without me telling you what it is. So this is called malonic ester synthesis. Let's say I treat this with a base. Right, what product you are expected to get. Now the first thing is going to do what? And I put a proton, proton. pull a proton off. Uh -huh. The pKa of that is more or less how much, Karen? Yeah. I mean, you said it last on Nine. Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. So pKa is very low, yes? Uh -huh. So whatever little base could make this happen. And after you have proton pulled off here, what is it going to do? It's uh, going to attack, attack that. What mm -hmm. type of attack would that be? SN2. SN2, nucleophilic substitution. Yes, SN2. So once again, preferred groups here are primary, primary. in general, yes? We prefer primary over anything else. What you are going to get at the end, whoops. Methyl group there. You agree? Yep. Yeah. Now this thing here is different from what you had before because this thing here can undergo decarboxylation. Okay? It undergoes decarboxylation in the presence of an acid and heat. And if it undergoes decarboxylation, this will be converted in the presence of an acid and and heat, what is this going to become? This is going to become a carboxylic, carboxylic acid. acid. Yes? Yeah. Carboxylic acid on this side, carboxylic acid on that side. One of those two carboxylic acids is gone. Carbon. That's what it is. This will become carbon dioxide. Yes? It's going to leave. And what are you going to form? Write the product. I feel like just giving you a worksheet and you figure the stuff out on your own. Huh? What do you think? You don't need me for anything? Oh, I know. Melanic Esther, yes? Get here. <coughs> One of these two beeps. It 
doesn't want and doesn't matter which which one do you want to leave? That one to leave or this one to leave? Which one? The right. The right. The right? Let's do the left. <laughs> okay. So the right one stay. Sophia. California. Doing what? She went to buy uh, gummy bears with the good stuff in it. <laughs> Guys, you need to know it's CO2 because it's a carbon <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, somebody else asked you, not me. I don't care. <laughs> so, what do we have here, my friends? Excuse me? CO2. I am going to, let's see, that's a base. It's going to pull that proton off. And the first step, I'm going to have this. With uh -huh. whatever else I have, yes? Yep. Which is this. The phenol. The first step pulls it off, that puts this thing on, and then H3O2 and heat does what? It shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. So we take a carboxylic acid from somewhere. Which one do you want to take away? The opposite of what we say. <laughs> <laughs> That's the product. You don't want me to write here like that. You want me to start writing it in confusing ways? You have to do it step by step where you can just write the final product. No. You write the final product. I just did this so you understand. pH. Does that have too many? to yourself, please. Just try to write the answer. You don't mess things up for other people. Oh, this is a scary thing. So scary. scary. Halloween is scary. What do you mean this is scary? I'm scary at night. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> So what happens in the first step? 
You get that uh, CHD. Yeah. first, yeah. yes. and then attack to give you this. Yes. Yep. You agree? So, yeah. Then and then another the attack. attack. Then it's going to do it again. Uh huh. Right? Oh my. Another depronation because there's yeah. still a proton here. Give you a CH3 okay. with that. And another that. Yeah. So that's going to have a CH3 there again. Oh we can't do it again, yes? No. And now we are going to decarboxylate this thing. Yeah. So let's say decarboxylation. Mm -hmm. Okay? And what is that going to give you? What side do you want it now? Whichever one opposite. But which side is that? Left. left. <laughs> okay, let's do left. <laughs> Thank you, that's it. That's fine. Uh, 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 yeah. One, two, one, two. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I wrote OH over there, yes? Oh, yeah, I know. You can yell at me, okay? It's fine. I like it. <laughs> Show some emotions, you know? Except one step here. But the rest of it, you can do yourself. Because it's like I'm repeating myself again and again. Alpha protons to a carbonyl, yes? It's an ester. Somewhat acidic. What is that going to do? A base is going to pull. pull it off. The electrons from this bond are going to go where? They are going to go to that part. Of course, this is a resonance structure we are drawing. As you know from before, when we did this before, we made a double bond here, yes? Mm -hmm. Double bond here, double bond there. Resonance stabilized. Go right here. Pride of the family. <laughs> right there with the two electrons and the... Nice. All right. So, do you want to draw resonance structures for this? Not really. Not really, huh? No. Oh, I should have gone like this, guys. to redraw it this time because that's filled with arrows, yes? What is that going to do? It is going to attack an alkyl halide, yes? Nucleophilic attack. The attack had what geometry? What, where did the attack take place? In the front or in the back? Back. No? Back. Backside attack. With what? Inversion of configuration, yes? Mm -hmm. Should I give you one that has an R and S on the test? Mm -hmm. Exciting. Save that for organic one, right? So that is going to leave, and what I have is. Now, 
course, the next step, when I add water and H3O plus and heat, the next step in the first step, what are you going to have? You are going to form first the carboxylic acid. I'm not going to do the mechanism for the formation of the carboxylic acid. Okay? Yes or no? Do you want to do the mechanism for the formation of the carboxylic acid? You could have it on the test, all of it together if you wanted to. Come on, so, we're the, we the masters of mechanisms. Yeah, nah, man, let's do it. I already did that one before. I don't feel like yeah, you yeah. Know. Yeah. Carboxylic acid needs to leave, yes? I have drawn this in this way so I can show you what happens. Now, what needs to leave is CO2, yes? Yes or no? As electrons here. Is this hydrogen going to be leaving with the CO2, yes or no? This hydrogen here. It's under acidic conditions, so it'd be pronated, yes? So is this going to leave and it will be CO2H? Is that going to leave like that? No. no. The CO2 is going to leave by itself. So this oxygen from here, close proximity, is going to pull that proton off. And what's going to happen is, now this here, the hydrogens from here, the electrons from the hydrogen, are going to make a double bond to that carbon to form CO2. <coughs> CO2 looks like this, mm -hmm. two double bonds. Can that bond stay here if that forms? Mm -hmm. The bond will not stay here, mm -hmm. right? So this is going to break, and that is going to form a double bond here. This step here, can this double bond stay here? No. This double bond is not going to stay here. You can draw the hydrogens being pulled either from here or from this bond here. So the electrons go to the top. Whether this all happens at the same time while these electrons are going to go up, it's pulling this hydrogen off and that's breaking. It all breaks at the same time, yes? Mm -hmm. Some people like to do this. Some people like to say, these two electrons stay here, and that electron pair goes to the top and pulls the hydrogen off. You can do it at once, you can do it three times, it doesn't matter to me. So what you formed here now is, what do you form? You have the oxygen with the hydrogen. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Plus CO2, yes. Electron pair is going to form a double bond. And 
somebody is going to pick or abstract the hydrogen from somewhere. This is going to get a hydrogen and be pronated. This is tautomerization to form carboxylic acid. Yes? So I guess I should have drawn pronation from here. <clears throat> We can uh, just call this pronation. Guys, what's the product? Uh, C2CH3 at the end. No, I want, I want each of you to draw it on your paper. Karen, I'm going to go check your paper first. Huh? No. So what happened here? Did I make a mistake and I forgot something here? No. I did not forget it, okay? It's not, I could forget it. I forget it a lot of times. So it's just unfortunate I did not forget it this time. So then that's a, so, oh, so this is still, still acidic, acidic, yes? Yes. It's still acidic. It's going to get pulled off and it's going to form this first. It's 
going to put a CH3 there. Yes or no? Yes. After you do that, you are going to treat this with the H3O plus. And what is that going to do? Decarboxylation. Where am I going to decarboxylate it? On the left hand side or the right hand side? I only have the left hand side, yes? Because this is not going to undergo decarboxylation. So all you do is, there it is. What a wage. <laughs> it's an OH if I have an ester, right? Which undergoes. There's no OH here. You cannot put an OH here. This is a ketone here, my friends. That's one of your tricky questions for the It's not a tricky question. So the word never favor the left side. Huh? What? We'll never favor the left side if you have a ketone wave. Remember like last time we were doing either left or right? Yeah. But if you have like, would you have some product that's on the OH? No, CO2, CO2 is oh, going to yeah, yeah, yeah. decarboxylate from whatever ester side. If I put the ester here, then it's going to decarboxylate from this okay. side. Right. Where's the signing sheet, my friends? That thing went around so long. Oh, you don't want the test, do you? There it is. Yeah. I'll give it to you next time. You're in a hurry to go, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, I'll give it to you next time then. No, no, no. This time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.